Hey Columbia, today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your uh, structure for your paper mache car. Um, what you're going to need to start with is your planning sheet. Uh, your planning sheet should be completely filled out. You want to know where your wheels, your windows, any kind of designs you want to put on your car are going to go. Uh, here's my planning sheet. So I'm going to put that off to the side. And then I'm going to take a template. And a template is the same car that you used for your planning sheet and you're going to trace it on a piece of cardboard. This is just the back of a cereal box. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on here. Now you can use a pencil and it's much easier to use a pencil. I'm gonna use this marker because it shows up better. I'm just gonna trace around it. And you're gonna do this two different times. So that way you have each side of the car. really important that you're careful because you want both sides to match and look identical. Okay, uh, once you've gone completely around the car, you're going to remove it. Now you can cut it out. I'm going to grab my scissors. You can use the big scissors as long as you're careful and you are going to start cutting very carefully around your car. Once you have your car cut out, you're going to do the same thing. And for purposes of this demonstration, I've already drawn, this is trash. Um, for purposes of this demonstration, I've already drawn a second one, which can be cut out. But I cheated a little bit and cut it out before I started filming. That way you guys wouldn't have to watch me cut out two. So what I have are two of the same design cars. I use the template or the pattern. And now I'm ready to make this three-dimensional. So right now this is two-dimensional or flat, and I need to make it three-dimensional. What you're going to need for that is this long sheet of purple paper. It is pre-cut for you, it's four inches wide, and, you're, and some masking tape. Masking tape is just paper tape, so to cut it, you don't need scissors, you can just rip it like you would a piece of paper. And I'm gonna start by taping, putting lots of pieces of tape on the car. I'm carefully putting them on my car, but not sticking them to the desk. Go all the way. I might need more, but I can go back and do that later. Okay, so now I'm gonna push all the pieces of tape on the cardboard. Now I'm gonna take this purple paper and I'm gonna carefully line it up with the car. And I'm gonna start right below the bumper. I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna turn it just so it's easier for me to do. And what you wanna do is you wanna tape it. And you're gonna bring this tape over and you're gonna tape it down. And you're gonna follow this line because you want it to curve and tape this down. You wanna try to do this slowly and carefully so you don't get big gaps. Probably the more tape you use, the better. And if you see here, I wanted to bend down and then go up to follow the curve of the car. But if I just use this tape, I'd have a gap here. So I need to add a second piece or a third piece of tape right there. Okay, I'm gonna press it down so it's even and I'm gonna press this down. Again, I'm gonna make it even with the edge of the cardboard and press it down. Make it even with the edge of the cardboard and press it down. I'm just following the design of the car. This is gonna what's gonna give it the curve, and it's also gonna let you have a dashboard. And then right here. And then I need to go around the trunk. So in order to do that, I'm gonna need another piece of tape. So I'm gonna add another piece of tape there. So right at the trunk, I'm gonna go around the trunk. I'm gonna tape it down. And now I'm gonna bring it down here, and I'm gonna tape. And then I'm also gonna tape right there. Okay, 
you don't have to do the bottom. So I'm just gonna leave this piece of paper right here um, until I'm done with the other side. So now I'm gonna flip the car over. You can see the inside of the um, cereal box here. And now I'm gonna do the same thing, but what the trick is on this side, you wanna make sure the car is facing the same way. If I just did it like this, the trunk would be lined up with the front of the car and that wouldn't make sense. So I need to flip it over and I'm gonna do the same thing that I do with this one. And I'm gonna layer um, a bunch of pieces of tape right around here. remembering where I needed more tape which was around the trunk and then right where the the hood of the car turns into the windshield and I want to make sure that I have extra tape there and there okay so now I'm all set to do the other side of the car so I have this side and I have this side and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna line it up and I know the front of the, the top of my paper or the start of the paper lines up with just above the bumper so I'm gonna do that in the same spot I'm still left with all this extra so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it off but I wanted to tuck a little under the car so I'm just gonna cut it off and leave a little extra and that way I can tuck it under okay and now that my car is now three-dimensional because you can see all the way around it it is ready for paper mache and this is my armature or the structure that's underneath my car and you can see it is complete and it's ready for paper mache.